Last year I visited 13 of the 20 and I'm going to continue, and now that session is over with, I'll continue my travel to the other bases as well. And one thing that with the aggressiveness and the support that this state has shown for our military installations, the military services in Washington, D.C., at the Pentagon, they have, take, they have taken notice. I've met with Secretary Yonkers, who is in charge of the installations for our Air Force. I've spoken with Admiral French, who just came from the West Coast, and he's in charge of installations for our Navy. We have more of an Air Force and Navy component in the state of Florida. We have with our Air National Guard, our, our Army National Guard, an Army component, and then Blunt Island, we have our, our Air, um, Marine Corps component. But the bulk of the activities that we have on in the state is Air Force and Navy. So then we look at opportunities what additional ships we can have come in, like at Mayport, what additional aircrafts we can have come in for both our Navy and our Air Force. So those are opportunities that we can bring here and say we do it better than anyone else. This is a sole source of doing whatever X type of training. Then we also have our ranges where, uh, from across the world, they come and train for war fighting. We have Avon Park and other ranges at Whiting Field in our state that are also areas we need to, to protect and guard for the missions that we need to, to have at those installations.